It takes two sides for a fantastic final and two great leaders. Before we come to the winning side, we ask the Indian captain, Virat Kohli, to step forward for a few words. Virat, a very tense final, worthy of test cricket in many ways. I'm sure at this moment you'd like to play tribute to Kane and his team. Yeah, for sure. First up, um, big congratulations to Kane and, and the whole team. Um, I think they showed great consistency and heart over whatever time we had on the field to pull out a result in three days, uh, basically. And um, yeah, credit to them for, for um, sticking to their processes for long enough put, put, to put, our, put us under pressure um, throughout the course of this game, and uh, they thoroughly deserved the win. It was a difficult stop-start game in, in many ways. Where did you think you came up short? Yeah, look, yeah, the, the first day that, that got washed out firstly and then when play resumed, it was uh, difficult to get any sort of momentum on that day. Uh, we lost only three wickets, uh, probably would have had a few more runs if, uh, you know, play had gone on for a bit longer consistently. Um, and then I think we did really well with the ball in the first innings to, to pull things back nicely. But I think this morning was the difference where, uh, you know, the, the Kiwi bowlers really executed their plans to perfection and, and as I said, kept putting us under pressure and, and uh, didn't allow us to, to get any scoring opportunities um, regularly, which, um, you know, really started pushing us back in the game. And in the end, I thought we were 30 or 40 short to put, put, them, uh, put them under serious pressure in the last innings. You name your team two days out. I wondered, given the rain and the conditions uh, that eventually came for the five-day game, do you regret naming it so far out in advance? And in retrospect, would you consider a different balance to the team? Not really. I mean, you, you need to have a, a fast bowling all-rounder for that. And, you know, the combination that we play, uh, we've been successful with that uh, over different conditions all over the world. So uh, we all came to a conclusion that that's the best 11 we can take on the field. That gives us batting depth as well. So we wanted to cover all bases. And, um, you know, if we had more game time, if the wicket wore out a bit more, then the spinners might have come into the game a bit more, I guess. But, yeah, look, in hindsight, you can think about these things, but we all made a unanimous decision that this is the best 11 we can take on the park. Just seen uh, a former teammate, Kyle Jameson, walk off with the player of the man of the match, the player of the match award. You can see why you want him at RCB. Yeah, look, he's a quality cricketer, and uh, he's coming up nicely in international cricket. Um, you know, really good, really good uh, areas with the ball, and uh, he's, he's a gutsy batsman as well when he gets an opportunity. So, yeah, look, I've played a bit of cricket with him in RCB, and, um, you know, he's certainly got the same attitude when he plays there um, as, he, as he does for New Zealand as well. Um, yeah, he's, got, he's had a great game and thoroughly deserves the man of the match. You've been a, a staunch defender of Test cricket. Just give us your thoughts on the format, the World Test Championship, and the chance to play in this inaugural final. Yeah, look, it's great for the game. Um, you know, the, the more the test, the test format is given importance, it's going to keep uh, international cricket alive, and, and test cricket is probably the heartbeat of, of international cricket. So I think this format will, will definitely help test cricket uh, be exciting. Um, no test match is going to be boring. Every team's going to go for the result, as you saw in this game as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a great move by ICC and, and puts that much on the line for every test match, as I said, and it's going to get more and more exciting from here on. Long summer ahead of you in England. Five test matches to come, of course. Are you looking forward to those? Oh, yes, we are. Definitely we are. Um, you know, it's a long summer ahead, but we, we definitely have got the squad uh, and the quality to, to do something special, and we are really looking forward to the next series. Many thanks. Uh, thanks for your time. We'll look forward to seeing you in about a month against England. Cheers. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the winners of the ICC World Test Championship final before the awards, a word with the winning captain. Please show your appreciation for Kane Williamson. Kane, you've experienced some heartbreak in ICC events in England. A very different feel to the dressing room now, I imagine. Yeah, it certainly is. A uh, very special feeling, obviously, um, a couple of close ones and 
Nice to, to get one under the belt. Um, I'd firstly like to thank Virat and the Indian team. <clears throat> They're a, a formidable side and we knew going into this game it was going to be an incredibly tough challenge and I think even coming into the last day, although it was um, staggered uh, with the weather and, and all the delays that we had, <clears throat> all, all results were on the table and um, you know it was just great the, the heart that our team showed as well um, to, to get across the line, but a brilliant test match. Is this the biggest moment in New Zealand's cricketing history? Um, oh, well, it's hard for me to say. I suppose I've been a part of it for a short while, but it's a, a very special feeling. It's the first time in our history where um, <clears throat> we've come away uh, with, a, with a world title. So, um, you know, it's a, a huge amount of hard work. I also want to um, make note with the, uh, there's 22 players um, that we utilise throughout the two years to, to get to this point. And, um, you know, they all played a big part. Um, also the support staff and lastly, um, the, the blokes that were involved um, directly in this match to, to just get across the line. A, a special achievement, um, one that will be celebrated and, and remembered. Over the course of the, the six days, I suppose, where was this game won for you? Um, look, I mean, I, I think for us, we, we know we don't always have the, uh, the stars and um, we rely on a few other bits and pieces to try and um, stay in games and, and be competitive and um, I, I think we saw that in this match. We saw a, a lot of heart, um, a lot of commitment to what's important to our group and, and the commitment to the style of cricket and, and we held strong which, which was great um, and we had to. We know how strong this Indian side is um, in all conditions. We've seen it for a long time. Um, it's not always easy, I suppose, when you, you play in a final in a one-off test match and, and anything can happen and it's a fickle game and, and we respect that. But, um, yeah, I mean, throughout all six days or whatever it was, it ebbed and flowed. Uh, no one really got the upper hand for a long period of time and, and it came into the last day, which made for, uh, for great viewing, I'm sure, by, by the fans and, uh, and I'm sure everybody at home as well. You said it's not always easy. You had to battle away almost for five hours in the first innings for 49. Have you ever had to work harder for your runs? Um, yeah, well, no, that was, that was tough, obviously. Uh, they're an amazing attack and didn't, didn't give you much to hit for, for long periods. And, uh, yeah, it was certainly tough going. But I think we saw a lot of, um, a lot of heart from the batters to try and apply themselves and, and get to a total. And, and, and some of the lower order came in and played with a little bit more freedom to, to try and inch us a bit closer to, to some sort of lead, which was important. The wicket um, offered a bit uh, the whole game, a very uh, sporting surface that uh, I suppose only having four days of cricket meant there was always a chance of a result. How pleasing to be there at the end with Ross Taylor, a man that you've shared many long partnerships with. Yeah, look, Ross is obviously very experienced and, um, and very calm in those sorts of situations. So it was um, nice to, to be a part of a partnership with Ross and, and be there at the end. And, um, and yeah, look, a, a fantastic day. We'll reflect on it. Um, and a special feeling, one that obviously we haven't had before. Um, just a final word about BJ Watling, if I may, who is off into retirement and is clearly a very yeah. special player among your group. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's retiring anymore, actually. Um, <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's a special member, a, a leader in our group, and really epitomises what this team's about. And uh, it's pretty fitting to, to send him off with you know, a performance like we've seen today. And, Certainly a scrappy performance, which is, um, you know, is close to his heart. He's a, he's a scrappy player and he, he stands up in the tough moments and, you know, an amazing career, um, being a huge part of, uh, I suppose, moving the team through different phases and into a position of strength. And, um, yeah, a great occasion to celebrate, obviously, a, a great game of cricket, but, but also a fantastic career that um, we'll definitely be acknowledging over the next period of time. Many congratulations. Special day for you, special day for New Zealand cricket. Thank you. Cheers.